What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper Day, back again with another video. Today's video, we're on Marvel Spider-Man on the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop. Once again, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe as always. Um, today, we're doing a video on what are the best graphics settings. So, I covered that in my uh, test on Spider-Man, but I never really went into depth of everything you should probably put on. So today we're going to be going in more depth of that. As you can see, I'm messing with the settings now. We've got them on custom. You want to switch them to medium for custom at first to get everything on medium. And then I would recommend it like traffic density, crowd density, shadow quality, turning all that stuff on very low. You can turn your field of view up, by the way, also. And turn your motion, blue, uh, motion, blue, mer motion blur strength down to zero. Also make sure your depth of field is on medium. I didn't notice that, and I switched that here in just a few minutes. Now, you may notice the frames have dropped a little bit. I am recording. Recording does sometimes render the frames a little bit lower, which it did in this case. Um, I did go back to around the 60 FPS. That is another thing I wanted to cover. Be sure that you've turned V-Sync on. V-Sync should be in the first kind of settings uh, display menu. Make sure, or display setting, make sure you put V-Sync on. V-Sync is going to cap your frames at the 60 FPS. Um, I think you can also target a frame rate. That being said, that will put you at your 60 FPS if you're, uh, you should be able to pretty much run that. And like I said, everything else you want on medium or low settings. Like this stuff right here, like weather, particle quality, depth of field. I mean, you can turn that kind of stuff on low. It's not that big of a deal, and the game's still going to look great. As you can see, the game still looked phenomenal, had no issues, and it ran a lot smoother. I did try other... Uh, I did try other settings, like uh, very high settings and your high settings. I did that in my first video, but in this video I did try it again. And I do have to say I did get a lot of FPS drop and I got a lot of kind of like screen tearing in some issues when I was had everything on high. Um, so you could you can run high settings and probably get away with it, but very high settings you're probably not going to get away with it without getting some FPS drop or running into some issues. So these are by far the best settings you can run. Now you can run all low settings if you want just complete no issues whatsoever. You can run and I do recommend if you have only 8 gigs of RAM instead of the 16 that I have. I know a lot of people don't have the 16 gigs of RAM. If you do not have the 16 gigs of RAM, if you'll turn everything down to low and turn VSync on, you should still get smooth gameplay with no issues. But I do highly recommend you upgrading to the 16 gigs of RAM. It will give you a better, it's going to just give you a better overall uh, performance for the laptop. That being said, like I said, these are the best settings, medium, and put uh, some stuff to low that you don't really need really on high or medium anyways. And, of course, V-Sync turned on. These are the best settings for Spider-Man on the HP Pavilion. I played for hours at a time. I didn't run into any issues. The gameplay was smooth. It, no different if I was playing on my main PC. I will go ahead and say that I think the game is a bit buggy since it is obviously newly released. Um, even on my main PC. I've actually not crashed yet on my laptop, but on my main PC, I crashed twice. So, and my main PC obviously can run everything on Max. So, I'm assuming that they're running into a few kind of maybe bugs. But, uh, that being said, guys, uh, like I said, these are the best settings for Spider-Man. If you guys want to see other videos, uh, you know, for a better settings test or 8 gigabytes of RAM test maybe for it and other other stuff like that for other games let me know down in the comments below I will be doing a Modern Warfare 2 when it is released test I will try to get onto the beta I'm gonna attempt to get the beta uh, try to play some gameplay on that on the HP Pavilion get you guys some gameplay on that and I will be doing a video on that and I'll do a video on the full-length game and Warzone 2 when it comes out so we've got tons more tests coming for the pavilion I'm sure that it'll be exciting to see and see how it holds up that being said guys and remember to like and subscribe as always I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching
All units, armed robbery reported. Please respond. Nearby officers, please proceed to the Bryant area. 